Hi YouTube family, my name is Alicia English and today is a trash to treasure video. These are my absolute favorite videos to film because I do a lot of creative projects and these trash to treasures really stimulate my creativity and I usually have to think way outside of the box. Well, I've been doing a lot of big projects like building my own tiny home studio, working on the camper and getting ready to do our next big projects on the channel. But still in between those, I'm always looking for things that I can salvage because I love saving the planet one project at a time and just finding things that I can bring new life to. So I was out the other day doing some yard sailing and I found a secret dump spot. That means that I was actually able to sift through just a little bit and find a couple small items to use during this video for a trash of treasure. You've been asking, I've been trying to deliver, but with the world issues, I haven't been to my normal dump spot. And so what I wanted to do today was show you an amazing item that I found. And as soon as I saw it, I knew exactly what I was gonna do. Okay, I'm really excited about this item. I have never found one of these before. This is a, uh, whatchamacallit? <laughs> I really don't exactly know, but I assume this was from a farm, some type of bushel basket. It was probably surrounded in thin wood, like an apple basket or something, but it's clearly been stripped down, super weathered, and clearly, based on where I found it, has been outside for years and years and years, which makes it even better for me because it means I can make this super old to 2020. What I wanna do is change this into something that I saw online a long time ago that I actually haven't been able to find new online and better to find something secondhand and make it myself. Have you ever seen those old vintage rolling laundry carts? They sometimes have fabric in the inside of them. They have casters on the bottom. They're super adorable in a done up laundry room. And I thought this would be the perfect wire basket to be able to create that look. This thing's super old, not sure if it's gonna have the right look once I'm all done with it, but I don't really want it to look farmhousey, but I don't really want it to be too boho. So I'm gonna kind of like join them together and see if I can really style this to actually have it suit my home. So I'm gonna use some old drop cloth, some spray paint that was left over from my awesome Trazo video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. And I'm going to add some old casters to the bottom of this, make a round wood base for it, and then I'm going to try to upholster an interior drop cloth <laughs> liner. That's what I'm looking for. Liner for the inside and maybe put the word laundry on the liner. I'm not sure. I hope I can accomplish this. Sometimes things are a flop. Cheer me on. Leave me a comment down below. Let's get creating. First step, spray paint this before the rain comes. Okay, plan B, trace before you get it wet with paint. Sometimes you learn as you go. I'm going to trace the largest bottom circle of this basket. That way, while this is drying, I can cut the circle insert that's gonna go at the bottom as the base. I'm gonna need something to attach the casters to, is what I'm thinking. So, scrap plywood left from my studio build. I'm going to trace the circle. Don't even have to make like a, or a faux protractor because this, ooh, as long as I don't move it, is going to give me Pretty nice circle. Now I'm gonna spray paint this. I have this ready for me to cut it with my squirrel saw or my jigsaw, I'll decide when I get to that point. I'm going to use some gilded brass spray paint, make this look gold. super easy to cut this out using my scroll saw. I do have a playlist on my channel where I have a whole series on how you yourself from home can cut rounds a lot more easily if you wanna make wood signs or other DIY crafts using circles. So check out that playlist, but this was a really easy base for me to make that my basket can sit on. So now I need to find the right bit to be able to drill some holes where my wheels are gonna go. Because I used some just rough plywood that I had left from my studio build, just scrap, I wanna give it a really light sand before I paint it. I don't really wanna see this base, it's going to be underneath and I actually cut it just a little bit shorter in size on the edges so that the circle actually is sort of inset, not being exposed on the outside of the basket once it's all put together. I'm going to sand it and then I'm going to paint it white. I kind of probably don't need to be painting this because you're not going to see it, but I'm going to know it's under there not painted if I don't do it. So <laughs> I have to do it in my head. 
often on the videos people are like why did you even bother doing that part you really don't see it and i'm like because i'll know it's under there it completes it it's perfect small details make it the end result much nicer perfect circle by the way thank you i do love using my rotor and jig that we made to make circles if you haven't tried that technique out check out my playlist for rounds because it's a fun way to make circles and if I was going to have this exposed to make like a small tabletop or something, I wouldn't use this particle plywood. I would have used something really smooth. This is, I think about a half inch, but because you're not gonna see this and I'm just using it to function as a base, I just wanted to use scrap. Keeps cost down. Uh, yeah, cause this whole project is going to cost zero dollars. <laughs> Once this is dry, I'll be able to put my casters underneath. I've already found a drill bit that's going to fit perfect. So I'm going to put a little bolt, a little washer and nut, and then I'll be able to put this through. So I think this is gonna work out perfectly just as I kind of plan, at least fingers crossed, I hope it's going to. So while I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm going to check on my actual basket, see if it's dry because I really need that to measure the liner that I'm going to put on the inside. So I'm gonna get my drop cloth ready, my sewing machine all set up, I'm gonna see if I can make this template without really having any type of pattern. Cutting this so it's not so tall, and then I'll be able to use this part that I'm cutting off. This remnant here, I can then sew to make my tabs that I'm going to need for the top. Wish I could say I was finally over you. It's not the truth mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again What's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by Someone save me For I pass out I'm too lonely To be done I'm a drink at this page I did it. There's no hole. I was like, for sure there's gonna be a hole around the edge somewhere. Now I need to join these two sides and then what I'm going to, cause I left myself excess just in case. Didn't need it, but I had it for a backup. I'm going to cut this a little bit shorter. I'm going to seam it into there. So I've left a little excess here so I can actually open that up there and join it to that one. That way when I flip it, it will be inside right. So right now everything is inside out to make it the exact same height as the other side. So I have my bag liner here, but I haven't done that side piece yet because I hesitated to cut it off until I knew. I'm going to use some clothes pegs and pin the sides on where they're going to go. That way I can kind of make sure that my fabric goes all the way around. So that's my starting point. Getting a lot of brainstorming and I'll use just brain on YouTube today. It's okay, it's all part of the process, right? I'm not going to be leaving these clips on. I'm just doing it to... All I'm saying is I'm kind of falling in love with this piece of trash. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I got I like two half hour into making the project and he's like, just so you know, we're keeping this. <laughs> this piece here is going to seam to that so that it's actually straight. So I want to cut it. I'm going to make a cut. Being brave. Oh. I'm gonna cut it a little extra. I'm waiting for something to change. Cause when I'm not here, it's like I'm this turned out so good. I cannot believe that the total cost for this was zero dollars. I spent nothing to create this. Not to mention, I saved some items that were destined to stay in a landfill. So this is just absolutely crazy to me. If you really think out of the box, the amazing things you can use with just leftover remnants that someone threw out that they thought they didn't need. Unbelievable transformation. I'm pretty sure this is my favorite trash to treasure project that I have ever worked on. I went out of my comfort zone with the sewing a little bit, so I always love a challenge when I'm working on creative projects, kind of pushes the limit for me a little bit, stimulates my creativity. I love that I was able to give this a totally different vibe. I think you could make this fit into pretty much any decor style you possibly want. It rolls, it's pretty awesome. You can turn it, spin it, roll it through your laundry room, 
Now all I need is a fancy laundry room to put it in and maybe I'll be more motivated to do more laundry. <laughs> The wire outer of this basket, I'm not really sure what it was. If you know what it was, let me know in the comments. Total free, found it in my secret dump spot. Piece of plywood that was left for my studio build. Some old casters that I robbed off of something else that I did, did a long time ago. Some upcycled yarn to make the tassels and a leftover drop cloth to be able to make the inside. Total cost, zero dollars. I only used two zip ties that were in a new package that we had in the garage, which usually you can find some zip ties around, which is how I joined the basket to the actual base. Super awesome, I think it's amazing. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this project. Thank you guys so much for watching. My Trash and Treasure videos are my favorite and if you've missed my previous ones, go to my channel. I have tons of Trash and Treasure videos on a playlist. I love you, thank you so much for watching. I love having everyone's support. See you on the next episode.